Hey, this is Dee Bradley Baker, the voice of Fish of the Box Trolls, and you are watching Fan Lala. We are at the premiere of the Box Trolls movie, which is such a fun, marvelous movie that everyone's got to see. It's a handcrafted kind of a movie about these sweet little creatures that live under the ground and the people that eat cheese in, in, in the, the, the daylight world and, and how they kind of come into conflict and then come together. It, there has to be a balance in order for the film to work beautifully. I say that because our young heroes, the boy and the girl, are so deliciously life-affirming and positive that in order for the audience to watch their struggle and see them win, they have to overcome a really an equally dark force. As, as our wonderful Travis said, you can't have just the light bits. Audiences go away feeling nothing. If you get the light and the dark bits, they either get a wonderful equation. Uh, people are about to see something that took um, 10 years, 10 years to make. I mean, it took 18 months to actually shoot it, but it started 10 years ago when the CEO of Leica bought the rights to a, a really wonderful children's book called Here Be Monsters by Alan Snow. And then it took us three or four years of working on the story and writing scripts and developing it. It's just a small group of people to get the story right. And then after that, um, about 400 people worked on turning it into a movie. So you're seeing the combined work of 400 people in a, from a warehouse out in the woods outside of Portland, Oregon. Oh, I think, you know, stop motion animation is so intense and uh, as a process to make. And even though it's a very old form of, of animation, I think there's a, a new audience who perhaps hasn't seen, haven't seen it before, you know. They're used to the kind of beautifully rendered computer world of, of Turbo and Cars and, and Toy Story, which are incredible. But this is something kind of different, you know, it's kind of beautiful. So tell us what uh, everyone will love most about your character. I um, I love Winnie so much. She's so, she has this little, like, definitely feisty, little sassy, which it's cool because I don't know, you, you, you kind of learn to respect that, even though at first you might think it's a little bratty, but you learn to love her and that she has a really good heart. I think she's a great um, role model for girls, you know, because she's, you know, she's strong and um, has a personality. It's just cool. Mm -hmm.